All right, so you're converting the fractions to decimal numbers. Okay, remember how we did that yesterday? How do we convert fractions into decimal numbers? One divided by three. Right, you take the bottom number into the top number. Okay. So when you set it up, the bottom number goes out front, and the top number goes underneath. Okay? Can you take 4 into 3? No. No. What do we have to do? Decimal. We have to add zero. a decimal and a 0. And then you've got to go forget to take it on the top. Yep. Before you do anything, you bring your decimal to the top. Okay? Now, how many times can 4 go into 30 without going over? 7 times. 7 times. Before or after the decimal? Before. No, after. After. What's 7 times 4? 28. 10 minus 8? 10. <coughs> Which? We really didn't need to work this one out, right? We really didn't need to work this out, did we? No. No? Why? What should we think about? Remember what I talked about yesterday when we have fours on the bottom? Money. money. Talking about quarters. Okay? If you have four quarters, how much money do you have? A dollar. If you have three quarters, how much do you have? Seventy-five cents. Is this seventy-five cents? Mm -hmm. Yep. So you shouldn't have to work number two out either. Right? Activity 2, I want you to look at page 57 in that book that I just came out to you. Close to nine? Yeah. 
are going to something close to 10. Two. What's 10 minus 2? Or, I'm sorry, 10 minus 8. I just gave you the answer. <laughs> what? 2. Add one more zero. 4 times what gives you 20? Pi. number
So when we write this, we're going to write four tenths. What about 25? 0.25? So you've got two numbers, just like three. Hundreds. So we're going to think about hundreds. So we've got 25 hundreds. questions you ask. Not yet. What? Okay, how do we round decimal numbers? In lesson seven, we learned to change a fraction into a decimal number by dividing the denominator into the numerator. Okay, remember we just did that. Over here, the bottom number into the top number we divided. The result was often a decimal number with many digits to the right of the decimal point. Decimal numbers like this are difficult to read and understand. Okay? Where did we say in real life that we would see decimal numbers at? The stores. The stores. Remember we talked about buying jeans, $24.99. Can of soup, $1.09. Okay? You're going to see decimal numbers in real life. Okay? Reading decimal numbers means knowing about place value. This is what we were just working on. This is why I hand out your book so you have it right next to you. I would suggest you write something like this in your notes. So when it comes to take a test, you know all your place values. Because you cannot use your book on the book on the test. I would write exactly this. I would write .64835 and I would make lines coming out of it to show what are the place values. Okay, I'll write that on my vocab sheet somewhere, or somewhere in my notebook. Because I guarantee you, you'll see something like this on your test.
Can you guys see it okay? You want me to make it bigger? Better? What lesson? Um, four and five per unit one. I told her just go ahead and move on to the next one for now and I would work on it for her. Is everybody done? I guess I could have put this up for you guys. Okay. So we're going to round to the hundredths place. Okay. So this is why we have the eight circle. We are only going to look at the eight. Okay. So we're going to round it to. Are we going to round up or down? Okay. So we're going to see where the arrow is, the blue arrow, right here. That's the number we're going to round. So we're going to look at this one, and Javon just told us that we're going to round up. So what are we going to change the 4 to? .65. Okay. Okay, now we're going to round it again. They changed the number on us. So if we look at the circled number, we're going to round up or down? Down. Well, we're going to keep it where? Now we're not going to round down, we're going to keep it the same. Sorry, that was my fault. I should have said. So we're not going to do anything to that number because the 2 tells us just to leave it at the 4. Okay, so we have 0.64.
All right. If you guys look in this top section, you have one of your vocab words. Did you guys have benchmarks on your vocab words last week? Maybe? Okay, so the important part of working with decimal numbers is knowing what a rational number is. Close to and on the number line. Okay? So this is our benchmark. We're going to be talking about benchmarks. Okay? This is another reason why I want you to use your textbooks also, because it's going to help you on your homework to be able to look at these number lines. Okay? So they have, remember we, we, yesterday we talked about quarters. Okay? We, know, we pretty much know those. The thirds is what kind of threw us off yesterday. So by using your textbook, or even making a number line like this in your notes for your test, would be beneficial to you. Okay? So if you look here, we have our quarter, one-fourth. 0.33, we have one-third. 0 0.50, we have half. 0.67 is two-thirds. 0.75 is three-fourths, and then one whole. Okay? So find the appropriate location for the number that we were just working with. Where would we put this on the number line? This is the one that we kept the same, so when we rounded it, we put 0.64. Where would we put 0.64 on our number line? 5.20, right? Yeah, between 0.50 and 0.67. Which one would it be closer to, though? This is seven. Yeah, so we'd probably put it like right about here. Okay? If we were putting 0.64 on the number line, we would put it probably about right here. Okay? All right, here's a tough one. I need to make this a little smaller so you can see the whole line. We have 2.83. Two is our whole number. So when we look at a number line, we have our quarters here, then we go to one. Now they're gonna put one in front of all of our quarter numbers, okay? Then we go to two, and they're going to put two in front of all our numbers. Okay? So we have 2.83. Jemiah just said it's going to be after 2.75. Because 83 comes after 75. But we have to have it up in the two section. Because that's our first number. Okay? Was she right? Comes after 2.75? Okay, how do we work with decimal numbers that never end? Remember that last problem we did on the side over here? And it's just going to keep repeating? It's going to be 0 0.33333333. I put 0 0.3 to a line. Yep. Yeah, you're right. If you have a repeating number? Maya just told us, putting a line above it is going to show that by correcting your paper and you put that line above it, you're telling me that that number is going to be repeating. That's a remainder. So if you just had like remainder of two, then you put an R2. Okay. okay. All right. Sometimes when we change a fraction into a decimal number, we get a pattern, and the numbers keep repeating themselves. So we just talked about, okay? Eleven divided by three. Does anybody see a pattern? Twenty-seven. Keeps two seven two seven two seven. Yep. So we have a repeating pattern here. What about this one? So what would you 
would you put your line over? What numbers are the same in here? Okay, look at you have five seven one four two eight five seven one four two eight. All of it. Yep, all of it. So when we write this, we would put a line over to the eight. Okay. Yep. Because then it's going to repeat, and it's going to be the exact same thing. Five seven one four two eight. Okay. So when we write this, we shorten it up. We put point two seven with our line above two seven. Same thing here. We'll shorten it up. Our line's going to go over five seven one four two eight. All right. Let's look at our applied skills. Okay, they want us to begin by rounding this to the tenths place. No, but if we put, put point seven eight, oh, yeah. eight, that's okay. So now all we want to know is why we put there. Because seven five and so what are we going to do? Okay. You, you can use your book. Use your notebook. Yep. Okay, so we want to run the tenths place, so we're going to go one over. So you just added that. If the five is bigger, don't you round it up? Yep. So it's going to be a three? Yep. So we're going to put... Point three. That's gonna go on your top line right here. Now we want to round to the hundredths place. Okay. So let's look here. What's our number? One. Are we going to round? No. Six came so we're going to leave. Six. So I can stay. Okay. So that means we just give that three. Six. Six. Yeah. What time is giving me? Six. Okay. All right. We're looking at the tenth place again. You're all you know round? So you're going to do the same thing to ten. Ten eight. So what's two what are we going to change that zero to? Two. Four. Because it's above five, we round up. Throw. So we'll come down from there. Can you say one in like a girl's voice? And you know what I need to Can somebody say it for you? So we have an eight, so we're going to round one. So we would have point one. Okay, now the hundreds. So we're going to look at what number? Which one is coming down? Three. The three. Four. We're going to change anything? No. Nope. We're going to go any lower higher number. So what time is four to keep you eight? Okay. And then we're going to look at the tenths. The one. Which one? The second one. It's going to stay one. It's going to stay one. Now what number we're going to look at, Javon? For hundred. The five. Brandon, what are we going to round it to? Well, we have a five here, so what are we going to round the one to? Is it going to stay the same, or is it going to round up? Thank you. Can I leave you for something else? I'm going to just pay you, please. All right, what about our hundreds? Oh, wait, that was our. Yeah, it was. Oh, I forgot to. <laughs> <laughs> 
There we go. All right, point three seven eight. What are we gonna look at, Javon? Number. <coughs> we're gonna change the three. We're gonna look at the seven. So we're gonna change it. If it's bigger than five, we round up, right? So we're gonna change the three. To what? To four. Jemaya, what are we going to do for the last one? Look at the eight. Uh, okay. Yep. So we got point three eight. So the eight here is bigger than five, so it's telling us that we have to round the seven up one. Okay. Twenty five. I mean thirty. All right. It's telling us that we can use a calculator to convert the fractions to decimal numbers. Um, Okay, get your calculator up. Okay. When you put this in, what number are you going to put in first? The bottom number. How much is in this one? I'm coming. Are you? So, bottom number is going to be 12. Huh? Are you going to put the bottom number first? What did you have to do to that 4 to 12? What, 5 not by 11? Yep. Put 5 in first. Okay. Divide by 11. What do you get? Yeah. <coughs> 2 is going to be 0.45. With the line over 4.5 because that's what's repeating in the whole answer. Mm -hmm. So write 48 down and subtract. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 You're going to move your two Yep. So your line, you're going to write down point one four two eight five seven, and then you're going to put your line over that whole number. Thank you. 
Do a decimal number or a decimal point? Okay, so you have point 0.6, and where's your line at? Above the 6. Nice job, Brandon. Go ahead and give yourself a Okay. Everybody understand what we're doing? All right. Why don't you guys close up your calculators? And when I hand you your homework, I'll take them. decimal numbers. Round the numbers to the nearest hundredths. Okay, so in your answer, how many numbers should you have after the decimal point? Two. Two. So for number one, we have two-thirds. And the calculator shows us as 0.6666666. Okay? So we know we're going to keep 0.6 do we round up or do we leave it at 0. 0.66? 0. 0.67. 0. 0.67. We're going to round up one. Okay? So your answer for number one is 0. 0.67. Activity two, rewrite each of the repeating decimal numbers using the line over the top. So they gave you what the decimal was for the fraction. You have to find where it changes in the pattern and put the line over where it starts repeating again. Okay? So let's look at number one. Eight what? Two eight what? Two eight what? I said that. Two eight five seven one four. Okay. So if you look at the pattern there, it's point two eight five seven one four two eight five seven one four. Okay. So you're gonna write point two eight five seven one four and draw the line over that. Activity three, you're gonna solve for the best answer. You might need to use your vocab that we did the other day. And then at the bottom you're gonna solve. If you have any questions, raise your hand. Use your vocab for the top part, activity three. 